feminine men are men who expect women to take care of them. But in terms of feminine energy, I don't think that's a feminine trait, though. That's just a dude being a fucking deadbeat. Like, what the fuck? I know plenty of dudes that you were say are masculine as fuck that expect their girl to wait on them hand and foot. Like, like, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. I am really confused. When we watched all those alpha male videos, they specifically talked about not treating your woman like a queen and treating her like your sidekick. She is supposed to be there to to come to your every waking need and support you and your goals and your future. She's just there as like an ancillary side character to your hero's journey. But now when we flip it to the, 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 the feminist side, now she's saying that it's a feminine trait for the man to expect you to take care of them. We're going to start with a video titled Hypergamy. How to spot a feminine man. Because if we're going to talk about toxic femininity, we have to talk about women who have internalized misogyny. <laughs> and they think that if a man exhibits traits that they would deem feminine, that that's a bad thing. So in essence, to them, femininity or females in general are bad. I'll let her explain. Remember, prepare for the yikes. Lost on. All right, Chloe, hit us up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Rebecca. I I had did a whole thing. I redid the room. I I took the filing cabinet in the backyard and shot it. it it's sad. We're gonna have a memorial to it. Don't worry. <laughs> Hey everyone, Chloe here. Oh, and also for any of y'all that were bitching at me before we get started, you see, look down there, look down at the bottom of the chat. You see that right there? Those snowflakes, those are your channel points, okay? Because we're all SJWs here, so you don't get channel points, you get snowflakes. You can click that, and there's lots of different fun things you can make me do, okay? Don't do it now. I'm just saying, for the people that were bitching about channel points, there you go. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome so today i wanted to talk about a very common experience with most women who have been in relationships and that topic is also if the volume is too low let me know i can turn it up men uh, not gay men but men with a very specific and a very damaging and a very alarming mindset and this mindset is very acute within uh, the black community, particularly with black men, because many black men are coddled and conditioned uh, to view black women as the help. But it is also Are we going to cite anything or base any of this off of any kind of empirical evidence or are we just talking out our ass? I, I, I feel like we're talking out our ass. I was raised in a household that was predominantly female. No one ever taught me to treat women like the help. I was not coddled to think that women are like my sidekick. See, I, I feel like we're going to get a lot of um, overlap with the MGTOW group with this whole toxic femininity talk. I feel like there's going to be a lot of rhetoric that's going to be overlapping. There's going to be a real big Venn diagram of this shit. You just wait. Happening with all shades of men. And as a goal for this channel, I want more women to become more aware of the men who are leeches and men who do not add value to your life. I want more women to learn how to uh, trust their intuition. I want more women to be able to- Now some of this, some of this too, I, I don't, I don't want to come across like I'm just going to critique everything. Some of what some of these creators are saying is okay and fine. We're going to get to the yikes though. I promise you the yikes is here. Just wait. And I want more women to become more aware of the types of men who are just not worth the effort or the time or the investment of your femininity. Uh, sometimes these men are toxic. Sometimes these men are weak and unaccomplished. Sometimes they're lost and confused 
or they lack direction, and most times they really just don't know any better. And many feminine men simply aren't aware of how unattractive their mindsets are when it comes to dating and marriage. And Real quick, um, I'm, I'm really curious to find out what she's going to define as like feminine male traits, but I do find it really interesting that she thinks that if you are indecisive, lost, um, don't have direction in your life, um, <laughs> she's right there, I wouldn't marry pussy, um, or anything like that, I, I, I don't necessarily see how that's a feminine trait. You can just be unfocused you cannot have a vision for your life's future like i don't think that's a feminine trait that's just a human trait are we implying that men intrinsically have drive and 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 goals that they seek out whereas women don't because that's what you're saying if you're saying that a feminine man is this this and this you're essentially saying that women are this this and this so are you saying that women don't have drive? They don't have goals. They don't have anything that they want to strive towards. They, they, they don't have direction in life. Is that what we're saying? Probably, but and men who have this regressive mindset often compromise. Uh, they often compromise their masculine ability to lead and to gain respect as men when they have a feminine mindset. So I wanted to have a conversation about feminine. Men. Also, women can't lead because that's a masculine trait this is I, because what makes a man problematic is not even going to be the word for this words, but his actions so ladies when i say <clears throat> men uh, people tend to think gay or effeminate or the alphabet community but i'm talking about men who say oh the alphabet community oh no oh 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 no oh they they are attracted to women and men who oh yeah i forgot we learned this in the alpha male video crying is feminine as a man unless your significant other or family member has died or like the birth of your child you can't cry for any reason but those like three things express themselves as heterosexual but feminine men are men who expect women to take care of them but in terms of feminine energy i don't think that's a feminine trait though that's just a dude being a fucking deadbeat like what the fuck i know plenty of dudes that you were say are masculine as fuck that expect that girl to wait on them hand and foot like like wait a minute whoa, 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 whoa. i am really confused when we watched all those alpha male videos they specifically talked about not treating your woman like a queen and treating her like your sidekick she is supposed to be there to to come to your every waking need and support you and your goals and your future she's just there as like an ancillary side character to your hero's journey but now w when we flip it to the, the 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 feminist side now she's saying that it's a feminine trait for the man to expect you to take care of them like what but wait, but the, 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 the guy would say the same thing. You're supposed to take care of him because that's your role in the relationship. He's the, the, the protector and provider, and you take care of him. They need to talk to each other. These two groups need to get together because I, I don't even think they realize that they're both making the same argument from different perspectives. It's a really fucking bad argument, but they're both making it some heterosexual men can be very passive aggressive they can be indecisive they can make a lot of poor decisions and many feminine men have women's ways right they can be petty they can be argumentative they can be overly emotional my ladies uh, my ladies emotional. my ladies my ladies um she is not doing y'all justice at all holy shit i didn't realize that being a woman just meant you're naggy and bitchy and shit, but we're learning today. Personality <laughs> becomes a substitute for having a vision and a masculine uh, purpose for themselves. Mm. And feminine men are often unaware of how much their energy, mm. uh, their output. Oh, I forgot. We're in, we're gonna get into some weird like pseudo religious type 
weird shit about like masculine and feminine energies and a bunch of other nonsense femininity and this feminine oh yeah no it's super cringy sabotages and compromises a man's ability to be a standout protector and provider <laughs> so just like a lot of women who are lost on the art of how to look good and are lost on their femininity and how to use it a lot of men are kind of lost on their masculinity and in spite of what women are wired uh, to be attracted to which is protection uh, i like and security, this pig this girl is cute i like i like the glasses too the notion that it's a man's role to provide so let's talk about masculine men for a bit a masculine man ladies mm -hmm. is basically a man who's a natural provider and protector a masculine man is always looking for opportunities to financially expand for himself and his family a feminine man will always look for excuses a, a masculine man would never wholesale abandon his children or allow his children to be financially provided for by someone else what, a masculine what, what? man is at his best. wait wait what now we know yeah i know i know i know now we know for a fact that there is a issue across pretty much all races, but specifically in the African-American community with single motherhood, okay? Why is she saying that it's, it's, it's a masculine trait to provide for your family financially if that's what the woman is doing as a single mother? she's providing everything i I'm, I'm really lost how you can say that it's it's feminine to leave your family like it's not good to leave your family no but women more often than not are not the ones leaving their family it's usually the man what are you talking about that's not a that's just a shitty person you can't just just say anything that's bad is toxic or, or a feminine male trait. It's just bad. Best when he is providing and protecting, and he wouldn't have it any other way because he is connected to his vision for himself, his family, and his purpose. And the opposite of a masculine man is a feminine man. A feminine uh, men, uh, feminine men reject the notion of being providers. Feminine men are the biggest advocates of 50-50. And to my viewers who are listening, you really need to take this in because a lot of women uh, waste their time with men who lack drive and ambition. And then when in relationship with these feminine men, a lot of women in the middle of that relationship want to uh, they want to drive the boat, right? They want to turn that man into something he's not. <sighs> like so many women who have emails. Hey, so <laughs> thanks for the sub. The bitter and the resentful woman. Yeah, no. Hey, we just getting started. Don't you worry. We are just getting started. <laughs> that invested her time. Thanks for the sub. I appreciate it. Resources into a feminine. Oh, 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 real quick, real quick. Are, are, um, 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 is that channel on today? Are they live tonight? I don't know either, Brienne. I'm not really sure why this like hooded, no face figure is the representation of feminine men. I'm like, he looks like a serial killer, but all right. Unfortunately, there are way too many women who lack oh. discernment and the ability to vet men. Uh, and there are way too many women who allow dusty men uh, to woo them with words. Uh, there are way too many women who don't have standards and they end up with these men who don't want to provide or build families or sustain legacies and men who expect you as a woman to wear the role reversal pants. <sighs> what is this legacy shit we talking about now? Oh no, she one of those. Oh no, she one of those. She talking about masculine and feminine energy legacies and oh no, she's one of those. Oh no. So I wanted to make this video, uh, this video to help women who are in a hypergamous pursuit to learn how to make the distinctions Ooh. between a coward. Ooh, we might have to peek in on them later. So here are the bold, bold standout sides, the bold red flags of a feminine man. Uh, number one, mm -hmm. men who see themselves as victims. A feminine man is a man who whines 
and complains a lot. Uh, feminine men often see themselves as victims and instead of focusing on solutions, feminine men focus on the problems and how to make more problems. Uh, two, feminine men expect role reversal. So what you're essentially saying is, is that women are perpetual victims, they don't try to find solutions, and that they are constantly looking for more problems. Because if you're saying that this man ex is exhibiting this trait and that trait is inherently feminine, you are literally saying that women are, vic or are perpetual victims and will always continue to seek out more victimhood. That is what you're saying. I feel like she doesn't realize that. I don't know, because like I said, I, it, this, this is like internalized misogyny like a motherfucker. But like, it, that's literally what she's saying. These are the men. Uh, these are the men who expect women to do the job of a man. <laughs> uh, they want women to provide. They want women to protect. They want women uh, to foot the bill. And they will gladly watch you work 15 to 18 hours a day while expecting you to fulfill the duality of uh, role of mom and girlfriend and or wife. Uh Who are these people? Like, not the men, because I know shitty ass dudes who like live off their girls and shit, but I know girls who do the same thing with they dudes. That's not like a, 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 again, none of this shit is a feminine trait. All of this shit is just shitty people. Like, I don't even, and as well, who are these women? who are working almost 20 hours a day and then coming home and taking care of the family and they man. Who are these people? There's only 24 hours in a day. Who are these people? Three, men who like to gossip. Uh, these are your run-of-the-mill men who are not only nosy, but they always chase, harass, stalk, and bully uh, in spaces made specifically for women. Uh, men who are more into chasing gossip uh, then chasing a check are men who should be avoided at all costs. Okay, okay. I see what this is. I see what's going on now. This this is like the second or third time she's made a reference to masculinity being directly tied to finances. What she's trying to get at is, is if your man isn't like successful and wealthy, he's not worth your time. She said, if he's too busy chasing gossip, then chasing a check. Like, what? What? Okay. Okay. We, we talked about this on the last stream, too. Men are some of the biggest fucking gossipers and shit starters and catty motherfuckers just as much as women are. It's like you just aren't around men when they talking about this shit with other men. Believe me. Uh, matter of fact, um, Brienne, in the chat, she'll tell you her goddamn self. Ask her about her boyfriend at work. <laughs> ask her how much fucking gossip he be doing at work. Ask. Oh, don't actually ask, but you know. Uh, four, uh, men who seek to be equal to I know, women. right? These are the men who are vocal about unfairness, and they are your unfairness police when it comes to women. Oh, yeah, no, Ace, and apparently, according to her, even having an equal share of responsibility, like a 50-50 split, that's a feminine trait. Apparently who choose a hypergamous path um, or men who want the same amount of attention for an issue that usually affects women, like being advocates for women to pay for dates or pay for first dates, right? Uh, number five, feminine yep, men- like, like I said, basically she's getting around to yo man needs to be uh, footing all the bills. You shouldn't have to be paying for shit. Like that's why she used that old hyperbolic ass working 18 to 20 hours a day shit. I was like, wait, what? Be pampered, catered to, and they often feel entitled. Uh, oh, yeah. Is when a person <laughs> Bria, he's an ass. See? see but, am, am I wrong? I'm like, men gossip just as much as fucking women do. That ain't no feminine trait. That's it just a huge. We're social creatures. We talk to each other about things in other people. What? <sighs> I just hate this idea that like a masculine man is just this stoic, silent guardian that just like stands in the corner waiting for any kind of like emergency situation so he can take control, but he's just silent. He's like Steven Seagal.
in every movie. <laughs> the right to something. And feminine men groom their women to cater to their needs at the expense of their own. No, that's not a feminine trait. That's a manipulative asshole. That's what that is. That goes across every spectrum. You can be non-binary and still be a manipulative asshole. Uh, feminine men also often... What? Why, why, why they do this? Why they do this? She was like, feminine men, and then she uses this picture. Like, why can't this nigga just be happy? Like, why, why, why you gotta be feminine? <laughs> In the sense that they're takers, but give mm -hmm. very little. A lot of oh, Ace, Ace, I don't know if you heard, but you see that down there at the bottom of the chat? You see them snowflakes? That's for you. Uh, a lot of narcissistic men, which is a serious mental disorder, by the way, tend to fall in this category of toxic, self-centered, and self-focused uh, selfishness. So, ladies, be aware. Uh, number six, men who don't work. Very simple, but you'd be surprised <laughs> at how many men detest working. They don't want to provide, oh, they resent providing, and these mm. kinds of men are usually the type to hitch themselves onto low maintenance women. They often encourage women to uh, go without makeup. They often try to hook themselves uh, to homely looking women. Uh, these kinds of men are looking for women who are hard workers and women who are overly self-reliant or women who love bragging about making their own money. These are the kinds of, these are the kinds of broke guys who are looking for women with a large bank account that they can exploit. These are your scam artists. So if this is a feminine trait, again, <clears throat> let's recap. If a man being gold digging, conniving and lazy and expecting you to make all the money, if that is a feminine trait, then you are literally saying that women are gold digging, conniving brats who refuse to work and are just looking for a man to take care of them. How... I, I, the lack of self-awareness is astounding. Like, does she understand what she's ultimately getting at here? I don't think she does. Artists, you're con men, and they don't mind being gigolos. <laughs> uh, number seven, feminine men are stuck mm -hmm. and stagnant. Uh, to me, the number one sign of a feminine man is a man who lacks purpose. So many men do not have a vision or a plan for themselves, and they don't know how to execute, or they give up easily, or they lack determination and focus, or they mentally focus on distractions and feeling like a victim. Uh, these are the men that are always looking for a reason right. to be offended. Or right, but, but, but that's the thing though. If you, if you are with someone who is well off and that's what you're seeking out, that's not necessarily good, but that's not feminine. Like, That's it's selfish. You could say it's 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 self-centered. Um, you could say it's sociopathic, but it's not feminine. Or they're always looking for a reason to make an excuse. Or they're always <laughs> right. looking to have their uh, insecurities validated. And this mindset keeps a lot of feminine men stuck on a treadmill with no power. So that's all I have to say on this for now. Ladies, I want you to know the difference between a masculine man who's on his purpose as opposed to a as opposed to a feminine man who is basically a child trapped in an adult's body. And ladies, you're all children trapped in a woman's body. There you go. These men are out here in large numbers trying to attach themselves to women who aren't aware of the damage and the potential nightmare that they can be. So let me know what y'all think. Have you ever dated a feminine man or a man who lacked vision and purpose? Why is they doing his brother like this? He is just happy, man. This looks like a fucking picture of like a of like a shaving um um ad or like a, a facial cleansing ad or something. He just looks happy. Maybe like toothpaste or something. Like wh why is this feminine? Sound off in the comment section and I stay tuned for more videos to come and I will catch up with you in the next. Okay. Does anyone know what this term means? I'm going to look it up real quick. Hypergamy.
I'm, I've, I, until I started looking up this shit today, I had never heard of this in my life. The action of marrying or forming a sexual relationship with a person of superior sociological or educational background. Oh boy. Whew. Um, so she's a part of the um uh hypergamy tribe. So yeah, this completely makes sense. All of these talking points make so much sense. She's basically a gold digger, like the <laughs> <laughs> like that's like like that's literally like the, the 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 most simplistic way I can put it. She's a gold digger. The action of marrying or forming sexual relationship with a person of superior sociological or educational background. Hypergamy is a term used in social science for the art of practice of a person marrying a spouse of higher caste or social status than themselves. The antonym hy hypogamy refers to the inverse, marrying a person of lower social class or status. So hypogamy is dating down hypergamy is dating up interesting i i guess so i fucking kim kardashian is their queen <laughs> it's their spirit animal <laughs> that's mean oh i'm sure kim loved kanye until she didn't